Welcome back. Grant County has its fair share of animal lovers, something that was made clear by the positive feedback we received about this next couple of stories. The first was about a little boy who's getting some help from a horse. Service dogs are a big help to people with disabilities, but a service horse, an Anchorage, Alaska mother, decided to give it a shot. We're here today uh, working on a transition with our service horse, Zoe, uh, for my son, Zayden, who has AT, ataxia telangiectasia, which is a very rare genetic disorder that is progressive and fatal. Eventually, um, kids are unlikely to live past 20. Zayden's disease only affects about 300 children in the U.S. It targets the boy's motor coordination, which will deteriorate as he ages. This uh, genetic disorder affects his coordination and balance, and uh, he's expected to be in a wheelchair probably by the age of 11, um, and may most likely will lose his ability to speak and write and communicate very well, but intellectually he will be there 100%. His mother, a horse trainer by trade, decided to get him a service miniature horse instead of a dog. The horse has more pulling ability, up to 300 pounds, and will be able to pull Zayden's wheelchair when he's eventually confined to one. Zacharias also chose a horse because its life expectancy of about 35 years is much longer than a dog, and presumably it will be with Zayden his entire life. I just started researching what my options are for creating the best life for this child, considering you know the adversity he's going to face. So, um, I've been a horse person my whole life. I've had horses in and out of my life since I was four. <clears throat> so I thought, well, what about a miniature horse? <laughs> um, Custom-made horseshoes. And if we can use the horse instead of the walker and then eventually have the horse pull the wheelchair and she's also um, learning to pick things up um, and probably turn off and on light switches. Zacharias bought Zoe's mother online from a Minnesota breeder. The mother, Gwendolyn, was pregnant and was taken by horse trailer from Minnesota to Bellingham where Zacharias' parents live. The pregnant horse was eventually put on an Alaskan state ferry and delivered to Anchorage where she gave birth at the family's home. Zoe and Zayden have been together every day of her life. Elizabeth Hornbuckle is the principal at Russian Jack Elementary School where Zayden attends preschool. I was worried we'd have some kids afraid of the horse. I haven't really seen that yet. Um, but the horse is also only here a couple hours a day and it's in um, a preschool classroom and those kids love the horse. It's just one of another classmate. Hornbuckle said it helps that the school is no stranger to diversity. We're pretty lucky here. We're a school that's very diverse already. Adding a horse into the mix for a service animal, just another day. So we're okay with it. We also heard about an elderly tiger named Tacoma who's living with a lot less pain after surgery. Take a look. 60 big cats live in Wiley, Texas, and they're not the kind you can take home and give a ball of yarn to. What's he doing? What's he doing, Tacoma? By their caretaker's account, they're humongous rescues. Not yet. Animals that either incompetent owners could not handle were seized by animal control or given up by people who realized wild animals can't be pets. Tacoma the tiger is one of them. He's been, he's been having some trouble for about two years, but it hasn't affected the way that he would play or he would get in his tub up until about four months ago. The 13-year-old Siberian tiger is feeling his age. Yeah, within the last two months, he's lost a lot of his muscle tone in, in both of his hind legs. He suffers from hip dysplasia which is a advancing, quickly advancing uh, arthritis of, of the hip joints. So bad he has trouble walking, as shown in this video, because he's in so much pain. Vicki Cahey is not your typical feline aficionado. She runs the NSYNC's exotic preserve and was determined to do something for Tacoma. Tacoma, to me, is one of the best tigers in the whole world. So he became part of an exclusive club. It's the first time it's ever been done in the U.S. and, uh, and only the sixth time period ever. Uh, the five previous times were up in Canada. His vet Toby Wallace recently helped perform a bilateral denervation of the coxofemoral joints. The procedure interrupts the pain signal sent from Tacoma's damaged hips to his brain. The surgery included veterinarians from Canada who pioneered the technique and vets from Texas A&M University. Tacoma is now recovering. I was super hyped because I, I felt like I found something that would give Tacoma some more time. It isn't a cure-all, but it will allow the elder statesman at the Big Cat Preserve 
to live the rest of his days with a lot less pain. You know, every every doctor's goal is to is to be able to make a difference in in the in an animal's life. And like I said, uh, I think we've done that here. John Moan, Associated Press, Wiley, Texas. And we'll be back right after this.